Hello and welcome to our second lecture regarding change management. In this lecture, we're going to talk about some of the indispensable topics uh, in relation to change management. So let's proceed to our today's lecture. In this session, dear students, we're going to talk about the origin of change management. It had some stages before it entered the business circle, like pre-90s, the foundation stage, in 90s, on the radar stage, in 2000s, the formalization stage, and going forward. So we're going to discuss all these four stages of change management in the origin of change management in further details. If we study the origin of change management, so before 1990, you know, before it entered the business circle, even the concept of change management was seen or it was available, but at that time it had no relation to the business because before 1990, it was just like a psychological literature where the organization had no application in discipline to implement the change. Because till that time, the organizations did not realize the importance in application of change management. And also, as we mentioned before, that before 1990, it was just like a psychological literature. It means that the people were just feeling and showing kind of attitude towards change. And psychologists, they were just busy studying those processes and studying the behaviors and attitude of people towards change. And also, one thing more that we have to mention, that before 1990, the business organizations in relation uh, to change and also the human side of the change had no idea in concept of applying the change because it was just like like you know that time it was a psychological function in organizational or uh, the, the business departments and also the management they, they did not realize that time that it is uh, an organizational function or a management a management function even in 1990 uh, you know, like Leon, uh, he, he suggested a three-stage model. So even that time before 1990, as I mentioned before, that that time the businesses uh, had no relation to change and also change management was not entered into business practices before 90. Uh, but the 1950, uh, there was a model. Some of the scholars, they were busy. Uh, they were producing some some. A magnificent and important models in order to bring changes but it was just like like you know in, in education sector and it was just like in psychological fields it had no idea in relation to the businesses but it while we were just you know getting closer to 1990 and also the technological changes in development started to accelerate in 1990s so that was the time that organizational realized and they came to know that now change is something that it, sh it, it will be forced on them or maybe the situation will, will push them or force them to adopt the changes because that was the time that actually the, the survival was getting difficult in the business organizations and technologies so they had a kind of strong relation and while the technology was changing so automatically the business organizations felt for changes and later on once the globalization and also the competition increased in day by day, the globalization in, in competition in external market, challenging the businesses, challenging the managers and leaders. So that was the time that actually the organizations felt for change because globalization in, in, in also uh, the competition, raising the competition. So they were, they were not helping the course of the business organizations. And that was the time that actually the business organizations were forced by the competition in external markets and also by globalization and these forces took them out the businesses from their comfort zones we can give one example like you know it was a time that when when the organizations they had no competition in an area they were operating businesses they were having monopoly one producer many users but while globalization started it give the businesses the chance to produce their products anywhere and target the customers. 
So that was the time that actually those organizations who were in monopoly situation, so they felt for changes and they were forced to bring changes. So that's why we say that over the past quarter of a century, change management has emerged. It means you know, there are some stages. It appeared, right, that you know now it's it's a type of thing or it's a type of practice or, or principle or discipline that it should be felt by the businesses. And also it evolved time to time, you know, the changes in change management even happened. The, the way, the procedure, the practices, the disciplines, you know, it got and also more importance it got by the organizations. And also it grown from the fundamental understandings or from the foundational understandings. Because, you know, at first, the people, they got to, to know and they learned some information and basic information about change. Then that was converted or that was evolved into a conceptual understandings. People got concept about change. It was something that actually it came in concept of the organization or the leaders and managers and they felt for it and then recognized as a discipline. It means now this is just like a management discipline and also this is the advanced management discipline. As we have, you know, lots of other management subjects like principles of management, marketing management, strategic management. But now change management has, has become one of the most important, vital and also one of, one of the advanced discipline of the organizations. And also research and experience suggest that in the coming years, the focus will shift even towards advancements along three points. One, increase collaboration of change disciplines. It means, you know, among the organizations, the business uh, sectors, even there will be more collaboration and coordination regarding the change discipline. They will, they will co collaborate and they will help each other how to introduce the change and how to develop and how, how to bring the change and manage the change. Enhance organizational maturity development. Even the changes will help the organizations to develop and mature themselves, you know, in every aspect. And it will help the individuals from, from another aspect that, you know, the individuals, they will, you know, through changes, through the job rotations, through uh, changes inside their organizations and business settings where they work. So they will also gain professional information and professional knowledge in those professional, uh, uh, you know, opportunities, you know, in experiences will give them the chance to, in, to, to improve their professional development regarding the change. That what change is exactly and how it happens how the change can be brought, how the change can be managed, and how the change can be sustained. So individuals even will learn more about the professional development and also they will, they will you know, develop their professional skills regarding the change. So let's move on and discuss uh, the other stages of change and also the origins of change in further details. If we look to the brief history of change management, Agamondi Gokhkanim, Batariqi Mukhtasar as change management, خود چهار ساها چینج منجمنت توالی ایوالف شده یعنی تغییر خورده در 1990s بود که ای وقت فاوندیشن بود من اساس یا بنیانی چینج گذاشته می شد That, that was the time that actually academics began to understand. Mana e e da da sahe academic change the unja felt shot wa kitabara neishta mekad literatures me but the mauri dizu and it became like a kind of subject you know for for academics to understand that how humans in human systems experience change. Kian san hoj tur taghir mekhara organizations chinawa taghir mekhara. In 1990s, it's called on the radar. It means what? Change management enters the business circles. They work this key in the business circle intermesha. Mana, businesses, they feel the change. That's the time that businesses realize that now surviving in the market, surviving the competition, surviving the internal and external factors and forces will be very much difficult without letting change happen. In 2000, formalization, it means what? that formally the organizations accept it, formally the organizations implement it, or formally the organization realize that now it should be a formal practice. It means change is something inevitable now. This should be a management discipline now. It means the leaders, the chain agents and chain managers should be hired. The people should be developed. The people should be should be just given more knowledge and experience how to bring the change. It means it was something that organization came to know that now they need some professionals, experts, change practitioners in order to help them and bring change in organization. 
in till, till, till the present time going forward. Individual professionals, you know, development and enhanced growth of organizational maturity uh, emerge. Agar more, bring the further details, the Nuzda Nuzda Zamanike Foundation stage change booth, the first era of change management, ke waqtay awalishas, wa i waqt booth ke during this period the focus was on improving collective understanding of human beings. Tanob dar majmu understanding the more the change ehsas meshut, the more the how human systems are changing, changing, and we experience change how our human systems interact and react. Yani, zamani ke change the human system mea ya, the organizations mea ya. Human system mana amrai change chinawa interact and react mea ya. Ba mana it resistance is then. You know, how how do they show resistance and how do they, uh, you know, like accept this change. In this era provide crucial cru, crucial insights. I wakti wud ke ba change managers in ba organizations kes. The maurit is yon. It means, you know, uh, in this stage, uh, the managers and organizations, they got like, like crucial insights, uh, more understanding, deep knowledge about change, about research in, in, in frameworks, you know, for understanding successful change. Uh, your frameworks or models are developed, make then, for frameworks or models, can cover develop, then, what are realized, make then, deep understanding, is on a make then, talk about from a kit, a hirchi tour, but shakli more fakona, metanan ki, uh, biorander idorat hot. Like in, in 1990 till 2000 on the radar stage, Guftim ki dayi wakht change in termesha, the business uh, circle in termesha, the business organizations in termesha. The second era of change management was the decade of 1990s during on the radar. Change management began to enter the business uh, circles, the people side of change. It wakht is ki taghir all of the businesses uh, adopt mesha. What they work that's keep people side of the change. Yani tagir kes the human systems, what tagir the employees, what tagir the insight, organization, uh, you know, positions, authorities, they work e ehsas misha and move out of the academics. Yani, mauzo asahe academic baramat, but business organizations recede in exploratory space uh, into concepts discussed at the project meetings. Hatta changes the project meetings. Mamat, yani, yani, you know, even the projects, they felt that there is a need for uh, introducing the changes. Then in 2000, the present uh, stage, that's called, you know, the formalization. That was, you know, the third era in the development of change. These same stages, change, develop, measure, evolve, measure, as yet stage by stage, they got. First, it was, you know, the foundation stage, then kind of concept stage, and then the formalization stage. In 2000, in, in, in so far, right, this era of change management was marked by formalization. It means the organizations formally uh, accepted, formally realized, and it was just, just written in, like, like, you know, in the, in the discipline of the business, or it was just added to the discipline of the, the business. But you want to understand that the change is not a change as a discipline. It means that the principle is not a principle of the business. It means that the principle is not a branch of management. Change management. It means that it is a body of knowledge as now. It means it should be used for the development of the businesses, for the growth of the businesses, you know, for, for changing the strategy of the businesses, for changing the structure of the businesses, change, you know, in the employee. In, in, in we mentioned in previous lecture, ki it change all organizations ba khaya na khaya ya force mesha ya organization push mesha ya organizations khud chan me khaya ki change ya introduce kana ba khatir ji ki they see the changing circumstances in the external markets so due to the external environments due to the external forces they are adopting changes they are changing uh, their structures their working operations their their production systems the marketing strategies in in so on and they are bringing the changes in the foundation era, give us just underlying understanding. The Zamani Foundation kes matana dar kadem wa understand kadem wa you know we got insight, uh, deep knowledge gift. In the more the change on the radar, Zamani ki the the, the business uh, organizational uh, you know like like circle dakhil mecha. This is the time that we give we we get the concept. They were kes ma concept of kuri change megirin wa shift occurred. Uh, shift ya taghir ke da change mea zamane ke e intermesha to the new time it means it comes to our business uh, you know site of the change then aga moira bibine as dozar 
تو پریزنٹ کی فارملائزیشن اس دی بہت سے نقاط اس کہ یہ چیتور ایوالو میں جا یعنی چینج خودش دا ام دم اوریجن خود یا دا ہسٹری خود چی قسم تغیر میشا پروسیسز ان ٹولز دا پروسیسز ان ٹولز میں کہ بیلڈنگ آن دا انڈرلائنگ انڈرسینگز ان کنسپٹ دیٹ ہیڈ بین لیٹ اور ایک اس پریکٹیشنیئرز کا سائی کہ چینج تدبیق میں کرنا یا شروع بھئی کرن کہ بائی چینج کہ دا سٹرکچر یا ارگنیزیشن انجام دادا میشا یا آوردا میشا یا مثال یا 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 مثال دا سٹریجی یا ارگنیزیشن چینج آوردا میشا ای چینج اگر دا ہر لیول ارگنیزیشن باشا دا ریسورسز باشا دا سٹریجی باشا امپلائیز باشا سٹرکچر باشا سو ناو دا پریکٹیشنیئرز دے بلیو ان دے لرنڈ دیٹ یو نو ایٹ نیڈس سم سم پروسیسز ان ایٹ نیڈس سم ٹولز ان ٹیکنیکس ضرورت بھی دارا کہ یہ چینج باید آور دشا ہوا بشک لے کانسٹنٹ آور دشا ہوا و ہم چنان یہ چینج کیس باید سسٹین شوا تنہا موضوع تغییر آور دن نیست تغییر کیس باید سسٹین ہم شوا و یہ باید نگاہ دوری شوا چی طور باید چینج یا میتنا کی سسٹینیبیلیٹی زیرو باید ہم بد نظر بگیرا The next one is positions in job roles زمانے کی بزنسز they realized that now change is an organizational function Change is now the management function, it's a discipline. So what they did, they just created some posts, some roles, some specific jobs, uh, because they, they understand uh, and also understood uh, the importance of change. So that's why, well, they, they developed and created, you know, some jobs, some roles for the people, some duties and responsibilities for the people in order to, to apply, you know, the change, uh, especially in the organizations and also on the products uh, in, in a better way, right? And also, uh, you know, these these positions in these jobs that they were creating. So it got more significant, you know, like like, you know, growth in the businesses. And also it got more uh, like like value for the businesses. You know, professional uh, organizations was for the department that, you know, how they're bringing the change. So they have like a change department uh, because of what, you know, they feel that it's it's the most important and also uh, important uh, factor for the development of the business organizational functions all right so the organizational functions qasme ke momegem ke ala idarat ke ira ira bashak le ek function girfta wo ya ke departments person establish me kana bahut re change offices person establish me kana wo departments or offices ke idarat ya resource me kana as le hoze human resources than ya other parts of the resources than in making making some structures man داخل ادارہ کے ڈپارٹمنٹس جو میں شاید ہوں جو مثال چینج لیڈر میں باشا چینج ایجنٹس میں باشا چینج مینیجرز میں باشا چینج پریکٹیشنیئرز میں باشا سو ان سائڈ دا بزنس ناؤ چینج مینجمنٹ از ٹیکن رائٹ رائٹ ایز این آرگنائزنیشنل فنکشن اگر از اول میں بھی بھی نیم فاؤنڈیشن اور کنسیپٹ بود فارملائز شد وہ اللہ کیس یک فنکشن ہے سب میں شاہ ایف وی گو فارورڈ اگر میں پیش میرے اندر چینج مینجمنٹ سو لائک وٹ کمز نیکس Uh, the last 10 years have been marked by a dramatic uh, rise in the awareness, understanding, application in systematization of the discipline of the change management. Thus, all guess, it marks that the change is changed by a very dramatic amada. A change, you know, like, 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 by a very dramatic amada that you won't believe it. The more is the awareness that the change is not a rush, the understanding is not a rush, the application is not a rush, the change is not a systematization. یک یک ڈسپلین ایوالو شدہ یا 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 بوجود آمدہ دا ارگنائزیشنز ان وی آر سیٹنگ اٹ اے کروشل پوائنٹ آن دا جرنی دیٹ یو نو پروسیس اوکے پروسی ریسرچ اینڈ ایکسپیرینس انڈیکیٹس دیٹ دا میچوریشن ول کنٹینیو آن اے نمبر آف فرنٹس بھائی مانو سن کی ادارات پروسی از ون آف یو نو دا ارگنائزیشن یک ادارہ سن کہ پروفیشنل ان سائنس نو میدا میشہ و اٹس این آرگنائزیشن دیٹ یو نو دے آر ڈوئنگ مور ریسرچ اینڈ آلسو اٹس اے چینج مینجمنٹ کمپنی کہ یا زیادہ بیش زیادہ ریسرچ آئی شان کیا ہے تو مورد چینج ہے تن و یا باور دارن و ریسرچ شانی را نشان میتا کہ چینج دا آرگنائزیشن دیگر ہم میچے ورتر شدہ میرا این اٹ ویل ڈیویلپ مور این مور آر رائٹ کمنگ ٹو دا نیکس پوائنٹ انکریز فوکس آن بیلڈنگ Organizational change capability. All right. All of focus is that the organizations have capability, skills, resources, and ability to 
بیشتر کنه و بهتر تر بسازه تا که چینج به شکل خوب اڈاپٹ کنه و امپلیمنٹ کنه سستین کنه این ایت ہیلپس دی بزنس ٹو گرو خو زمانی که ما در مورد کیپیبلیٹی اف دی ارگنایزیشن صحبت میکنیم به این هستن که لیڈرز و منیجرز که در داخل ادارات هستن و و مثال در فرنٹ می باشه یا فرنٹ لائن هستن که و مثال در چین زیاد رول داره این مهم هستن که و هم کیپیبلیٹی داشته باشه هاو تو یو نو لایک لایک برینگ این انٹروڈیوس دی چینج بیسائیڈ دس ای تنا کافی نیسن بی داره ادارات کے اس بیت دیگه هم اسپیشلسٹ باشه from all around even you know the people inside the organization employees guys who by ham capability to the boss how to bring the change and how to adopt the change third individual professional development of the change uh, oh, uh, in 2004 when change uh, proce begins delivering change management certification programs what kas me kama peshtar guftim ki ala kas hatta change management by individuals by afraad e infiradi kas یک یک ڈیولپمنٹ شدہ مانا مردم کیس یا امپلائیز کیس یا کوشش میں کہنا کہ پرسنل ڈیولپمنٹ خدا کرنا کہ پرسنلی دا ادارات کیس یا میں تو نہ کہ ڈیولپ شوا کہ چینج طور میں آیا چینج طور اڈاپٹ میں شاہ انٹروڈیوس چی طور میں شاہ پریپریشن فار چینج چی طور ہستن سسٹینیبلٹی آف دا چینج چی طور میں بوشا از اوخت طرح اس کیا ہوا دا مضمون یہ چینج مینجمنٹ اکثر ادارات یا ارگنیزیشنز کیس ہستن دیر آفر Many individuals show interest و اکثرا مردم که از بایی دلچسپی نشان میتا که یا دیگام یاد بگیره در مورد تکتکس یا tools and techniques که چین چی طور میایا و میخواید که بهتر تر شوا یا سکل و ایبیلیتی خودا بیشتر کنه و به لیول اکسپرت پرسته تا که چینجیزه به شکل بهتر در ادارات شن تدبیق بسازه